Hi, Susan here from Coast Chanel Design Studio, and today I'm going to do a quick demo on the wonderful feature of click and drag in Garment Designer. One of the most powerful features of Garment Designer is the ability to move points around, and this can be used for two purposes. One, to customize the fit, and two, for creativity. So I'm going to walk through some basics of using the points and also how to select the points and why you might want to do that. So to begin, if I click inside of any pattern piece, I can see the points that are involved. And not only am I seeing the points, which you can see at the end of any segment, I'm also seeing if the segments are straight or if they're curved. And this is very helpful because when you are going to create a style you kind of think about the style in terms of where is the or straight lines and where do there need to be curved lines. And therefore you can go look for styles within Garment Designer that uh, have the curves and the straights in the right place. Typically, you know, one begins by choosing the size that you want and then you choose the style menus that you want. Maybe I just want a high curved neckline. You know, you start by building the components that's going to become the garment. And a lot of people stop there and then they add their hems and seam allowances and print and make the garment. But if you want to go further, then you need to learn about the points and click and drag. So first thing I'm going to do is click inside a piece. And now I can see where the points are. And if you note, uh, we have the curves will have what are known as curve control arms. And these allow you to tweak the curve by either changing the angle of the curve control arm or by making the arm longer. So that is a control in itself. And even these are points that you can drag and move around. Uh, so if I look at the points here, you can see these are all hollow little boxes. And that means the points are visible, but they're not active yet. And so to make a point be active, you need to select that point. So if I select by clicking on the point, notice it took the back point because symmetry is on then that is an active point and now I can do something with it. And it's not liking my angle, which is cool. I'll just fix that, you know, by re-arcing the angle a little bit. And I'll do, usually I do those operations near the end. So we'll wait until, you know, I would be done with the pattern to do that because I may change it yet again and then have to update it again later. So we'll just cut to the chase now and get all our uh, points moved and then we'll come back and check all our angles for the different parts of the pattern. So this point's active and if I want to uh, select a different area or a different point, another way of doing it is to drag a box around it. And this is my preferred way. I usually start outside of the pattern and then drag into the pattern area or around it. This is handy if you tend to have a sensitive mouse or you jiggle a lot. So this way I'm not really just clicking on a point because some people click and kind of jiggle and then they, you know, they have a problem. We'll just undo that last operation. Uh, so you can see how the drag select is actually a better way. And you can drag select a single point or you can drag select uh, a group of points and segments, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, another thing that's handy to know is to be able to click on a point and then to hold the shift key and click on another point. So let's say I want to know the distance from here to the underarm. I can select two points here and down here on the bottom it is measuring for me. So that width, and it's measured both front and back by the way, um, is 20 and 5 eighths. So the front would be half of that. If I went in and turned symmetry off and did that again, then I can see that that width is 10 and a quarter. So that's a time when holding the shift key while you select certain points is handy. You can also select the first point. Let's click inside so we can see them. Select the first point, select the second point, select the third point, change your mind about the third point. So I just deselected it by clicking on it again. And at any point in time, I can just simply click away to deselect all points. And so that clicking away is a pretty handy thing to know about. Now let's talk about um, making selections of segments, not just the points, but the segments in between. 
So there's a few ways to do this. I could simply click on a segment and let's just say I want to widen my garment. Now this is a good situation. Notice I didn't take the back because I turned symmetry off. So let's just go and turn symmetry back on. Okay, click away. Now click here and I just want to have this drop off my shoulder just a little so I can drag that whole segment. So that's how you select a segment. Uh, if I want to, again, maybe I want to take the whole armhole. Let's just undo that. And now instead of just that segment, I actually want to widen the whole armhole a little. So this is where I might use my uh, arrow keys to tweak that. And my sleeve is updating automatically as I do it. So there I did a click, drag, select over the whole armhole. Another situation where click, drag, selecting over a group of segments is good is Garment Designer has just added up the perimeter of all these segments. So my armhole measures 21 and 3 quarters inches. And again, I can choose, since I have three segments selected here, I can choose to deselect some of them by shift clicking. I'm holding my shift key down and I can back up and hold them down. So as you can see, there's lots that can be done. I'm just gonna have a little play here. So I'm gonna widen my garment a little bit and you know, maybe I'll, I'll leave that one alone. I'm gonna arc the neck a little bit in the front. Maybe I actually want this to be uh, sort of like a cut in style so I can pull this in and then my sleeve will come up further or I can just turn it into a sleeveless. A very common one for me is to drag select over the underarm segment and raise and lower this and you can read the depth of the armhole here. So this gives you an idea of how different ways of using segment selection. So you can use it to help measure, you can use it to adjust the fit, you can use it to adjust the size uh, and at any time you can click aside a piece to see all the points and segments so that you know you have the right style. If I wanted something that was adjustable in the waist, I'm going to need a contoured style. And now I can I click inside, you can see the points, and then I can select these and just pull this out a little. So now instead of an A-line, I've got a slight contour here. And if I decide that this whole area is just too full and I want less ease, then I'm using my left arrow key to pull that in. My sleeve's updating automatically for me and you can see the power of click and drag and using your points.